Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for January 22nd through the 28th. Now this is a general reading so just keep that in mind. Take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? This is the Ask Angels deck so ask a question and at the end I will reveal the answer. I'm not going to use that one. I will reveal the answer and we will see what comes up. So go ahead and ask a question. This is typically a yes or no or a um, resolution of some sort. You know, they're going to give you some kind of answer, all right? Could be a timeline, could be a way to achieve your answer, you know, something like that. So what do we want for Aries? We're also going to get an overall energy from this deck right here. Ooh, disruption. This card is equivalent to the tower, okay? There is going to be some disruption this week that um, might shake you up a bit, okay? I will zoom this camera in once I have the cards laid out. You might have to put something back together, okay? There's going to be some kind of upheaval, perhaps. Something maybe crumbling down, something that you might know about, you might see it coming, you might not. It could come in unexpectedly. Either way, there is some kind of uh, downfall this week. You are going to be called to master your emotions, and it appears, you know, you might you might be emotional about this disruption. You may feel like you're a victim, you know, of whatever is happening. You may feel like um, you might even get angry about it, all right? So just, you know, keep that in mind. You may be overly emotional about something that happens. It could happen out of the blue very suddenly. Um... And it may just be, maybe just what you need, okay? It, because we have this, um, I think that you've been unrealistic in some area of your life. And now it's this, this needs to happen. When a tower comes out in a reading, it tell, it's usually to change things for the better. So I feel like there's been some dissatisfaction in your life. The universe sees it and they're coming in to uh, spark a change. Right? And it's because you've been holding on to something that doesn't serve you. And, you know, the thing is, is that wherever, whatever you've been holding on to, there was no security or stability there anyway. And you've been stuck. You've been, you've been, re, you have been uh, reluctant to move forward. But you need to move forward because this, whatever it was, doesn't serve you. It was just bringing you an injustice. Okay, it was weighing you down, holding you back. It was, it was bringing you backwards. There's no forward movement in your life. And when this universe sees that, that's when they usually come in with the disruption because it's time for a change. I want to zoom this in, so I'm going to lay out these cards. And there you are, Aries. Okay. So I really feel like you're really going to have to use your mind and your heart in this situation, okay? Because there's going to be, you, something might happen suddenly that causes you to lose your concentration for a minute. And you, you might need to really focus. And to do that, you're going to have to use your heart and your mind in this situation it feels like I mean you may be dealing with someone who is flighty 
okay? So you are going to be called to really make a decision because it's you haven't been. And that's why the tower is here. The tower is here to shake things up, to force you to make a decision that brings some structure back to your life that causes you to think, do I really want to go backwards? I mean, it is time to spin the wheel, but you're not. You're, you're reluctant to do that. Um, I'm going to start getting some more cards. It's feel, it feels like you guys are refusing to see that there are other options for you. Okay? And now it's time to stop, stop uh, the conflict. Stop competing. It's stop doing something that doesn't serve you. There is a feeling of tension, conflict, uh, competition in your life. Maybe you're competing or maybe, maybe, maybe somebody is trying to make you compete. All right. Maybe they're trying to make you compete for their love. And you have to learn a lesson here. It's like you have the ability to start something new, to start a new chapter, to start a new phase, but you're not. Okay. You're refusing to move forward. in regards to something that doesn't serve you. It's like somebody is has caused you a lot of disappointment and you can't see past it. You're concentrated on the past. It is. It's like you're still focused on the past instead of moving forward, instead of letting go of this disappointment in a relationship. There's been some problems. It's like you can't let the dream die. The relationship something. There's some kind of relationship difficulty that you've had in the past or happiness that you used to have that's no longer there and you can't let it go. It's like you're so afraid. You're so afraid of being alone and you're feeling lonely. You are feeling lonely. You're feeling lonely. You don't want to you don't want to grow old alone, but you can't let go of the past. I feel like you guys are going through a midlife crisis over a partnership, okay? Over the, the love of your life or somebody that you thought was the love of your life, you know? You thought somebody was the love of your life and you can't get past that thought. But I think you're dealing with somebody who is pretty immature. They are causing you co trouble, and conflicts, bringing challenges to your life, causing you to be restless, and I think they're bringing drama. And I think that you probably had the best of intentions in this matter. You had love to offer, but they weren't putting in the work. They weren't investing in you. It's like they didn't, they weren't this, they weren't ever planning on moving forward. It was like it was a game to them. Okay? I feel like you were dealing with somebody who wasn't being honest. They were being very, uh, they were very intelligent and intense, but they were also very conflicting. They brought a lot of conflicts to your life and they thrive on drama. So it feels like somebody was like, uh, What's the word? Egging you on. Egging you on to get your attention. And now, you know, there's no forward movement. And that's where the tower comes in. Because they, you can't play this game. I think you were dealing with a player. And the, and the universe is saying the time is up. It's over. I think you were dealing with somebody that was very hot-headed, stubborn, uh, materialistic, really not looking for love, looking for everything but. And all it did was cause a lot of depression, despair, and you're starting to move out of it, but you're not there yet.
it's time for you to move on accept this completion and be abundant in your own right okay I feel like you had intentions great intentions with somebody of building your legacy but it was never meant to be it was a it was it was false from the get-go because this person was a player they weren't planning on being with you for a long time okay yeah they were probably it was probably a Gemini uh, Libra or Aquarius could have been any other sign too. It could have been Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be any sign. I really don't like to say that. But I feel like you were dealing with somebody who is now your ex, who is very vindictive, very cutthroat, very non-caring, harsh. I think you were dealing with somebody who was very harsh and wasn't thinking about your feelings in this matter. It was like they were getting their gratification and that was all that mattered. And now I believe you are starting to realize the tower has come in, given you this epiphany, opened your eyes in some sudden way, and now you're starting to realize that there's more opportunities, that, just, that it's worth, that it's time to wait for the right one. This is not the one. I'm going to leave these people in the past because now I'm opening my eyes to see that I'm, I am worth more and I am going to wait for the right one. Because this other person was dishonest with you. And you've been denied, you've been, oh, messing with the truth, you know, it's like you've been in denial, you know, you know what the truth is, but you've been in denial, hoping and praying that this really wasn't the truth, but it really was. And now you can't juggle anymore. You can't play this game anymore. It's time for a change. Because my wishes matter. Because that was never going to work out anyway. There was no success there. All this did was bring you down. This, and this person thrived on bringing you down, by the way. And now you're starting to let go. And even though it's a struggle, I feel like you guys are starting to look through, th look through uh, the lenses of new glasses. Yes, it's time to struggle through. It's time for me to open my eyes and realize that I have something much, much better for me out on the horizon. Because I can't I give this person a second chance. I'm wide awake. You're dealing with somebody who was very impulsive. And this can be any energy. This can also be you. Okay? You're dealing with somebody who uh, was definitely hot-headed. And I think you have multiple choices, by the way, Aries. We have three queens here right off the bat. So I have to remind you that I think you have multiple choices, whether it's a man or a woman. Okay, you have plenty of options. So it's time for you to light your fire again. It's time for you to show the world what you're worth. I feel like you are a natural born leader. And your passion is coming back. Congratulations. You've come to this realization with the help of the universe, with this disruption that comes in. That you want more and you're going to wait for it. Because this person is not worthy. And once this disruption comes in, it lights your fire. And you are on fire. So I think this is a week of, it's like an epiphany. It's a blessing. I think you get this blessing. Comes in suddenly. It might make you overly emotional at first. You might get angry. You're definitely going to be hurt. But it's like a switch. Goodbye. And here I come. I'm going to get you an angel romance card. It's a week of letting go of the past. With a little help from the universe. And a new beginning. Express your love. 
go ahead and make the romantic gesture. If you have a new love interest, go for it. Go for it. The past is the past, and it's over now. You ready for your question? You have it? Are you ready? Remember the question at the beginning of the reading? Do you remember what it was? Ooh, -hoo. yes, sir. Big happy changes are on the horizon. Thank you, Lord. This disruption that comes into your life is a blessing in disguise. Run with it. Talk to you later, Aries.